My God, heed my prayer. Do not hide your attention from my pleas for compassion. Listen attentively to me and respond to my plea. In my lament, I am restless. I search for you everywhere, and I am driven to distraction by the shouts of the enemy. For they threaten to drop disaster upon me, and in their anger, they relish being hostile towards me. Deep within me, my heart writhes in anguish, and the dread of death has fallen upon me. Terror and trembling have entered into me, and this shuddering and horror overwhelms me. And I say, would that someone could give me wings like a dove. I too would fly away and settle down where it is safe. Hear this. I would go so far away. To escape all this, I would spend my nights in the remotest wilderness. I would quickly seek out a place of refuge from this wind that is sweeping me away, from this tempest. Confuse them, my Lord. Divide their thoughts from their tongues. For I have seen their violent wrongs and their contentious disputes in the city. Day and night, for its protection, the guards march around upon its walls. But the looming disaster, the harm and mischief are within its very heart. Ruin has engulfed the heart of the city. Oppression and fraud do not leave the public square. For it is not an enemy who taunts me that I could endure. It is not my enemy who has made himself appear great by doing this great evil against me. I could hide my heart from him. But it was you, a man much like myself, a close friend and my confidant. One with whom, together, we kept close company. We had a sweet friendship. Together, we walked with the worshiping congregation to the house of God. That has vanished in the tumult. Devastation will come upon them. While they yet live, they will go down into the realm of the dead. For that which is harmful and evil is in their hearts and minds. It is deep within them.
As for me, I will call on God, and my Lord will save me. Throughout the day, morning, noon, and in the evening, I will passionately lament, and I will murmur softly. And he will hear my cries. He will hear my voice. He will rescue my soul intact from those who are approaching me, even though they have come at me in mass. For God, who abides enthroned from the most ancient of days, and with whom there is no change, will hear and bring them down. For they have no reverence for God. My friend, he attacked those with whom he was at peace. He has profaned his covenant. He has dishonored friendship. Smooth as butter were the words of his mouth, but in his heart there was war. His words were tender and gentle, more soothing than any ointment. But they were drawn swords and pointed daggers. Cast that which is given to you upon our Lord, and he will support you. He will sustain you. He will not allow the devout to be forever shaken. And you, my God, you will bring them down into the well of the pit. For men of bloodshed, fraud, and treachery will not live out half of their days. But as for me, I will trust in you.